It's been a long road, but there's light at the end of the tunnel. The last steps in the process of bringing your device to market in the U.S. include listing your device, registering your establishment, and paying the associated fees. Listing your device and registering your company as well as those associated with manufacturing your device comprise of the last legs in the process. Establishments, also known as companies, register. Devices get listed. There is a distinction. Any firm involved in any facet of the production or distribution of a medical device for commercial sale in the U.S. must register annually with the FDA. FDA establishment registration is important in order to enable the FDA to protect public health and to respond to public health emergencies. Establishment registration requires you to list all devices, as well as all activities related to those devices at your firm. Importers or distributors taking first title to imported devices must also register with the FDA. Registration and annual renewal fees vary and prices change from time to time. For a complete pricing schedule, visit FDA's website. Once the FDA has cleared your device for marketing in the U.S., the agency will issue you a 510k clearance letter and post your 510k summary on its website. You will not, however, receive a registration certificate. Congratulations! Now you are authorized to sell your product in the U.S. The hard part is over. Keep in mind there are fees associated with maintaining your registration. That brings us to the end of this module and this series on bringing your medical device to market in the U.S. In it, we covered how the U.S. is one of the most active markets in the world. The Food and Drug Administration is the governing regulatory body, and there are approximately six steps involved in the entire process depending on your type of device. Speaking of which, we learned how you can use the FDA tools to determine your device classification and the differences between those classifications. We also took a look at the FDA Quality System Regulation 21 CFR Part 820. Product testing is a requirement for higher risk products, and there's plenty of documentation to assist you with those processes. We looked at the different types of 510Ks and documents that must be submitted. We also learned that if your company is outside of the U.S., you're required to obtain an in-country representative. Last, we discussed the final steps including device listing and establishment registration. We hope you've enjoyed this video series and learned some valuable information. This is just the tip of the iceberg, though. A wealth of resources are available on our website, www.emergogroup.com forward slash USA. Bye for now.